<laughs> yes, good morning to all of you and good morning, Joey. Thanks for good being morning. with us. Thank you for having me. Oh my gosh. Well, I have to say, so I got a sneak peek of the film. I got to watch the screener and I watched it last night. It is a beautiful storyline and not to give you any spoilers, but I certainly shed a few tears multiple times throughout the film. So we gave a little backstory, but there's a really special part about this film. 70% of the cast and crew is wet. Uh, every, we're, they've been through inclusion films or Futures Explored options for all my partners. Mm -hmm. uh, they train, we train adults with developmental disabilities yeah. in filmmaking and 70% was made up of that crew. So wow. it was uh, quite exciting. I mean, this, this has been my mission to make a feature film because yeah. we do short films, but this is a big deal for us. Absolutely. And this has been in film festivals now. So yeah. uh, what's really the benefit of being able to have this a very unique and special group of individuals be a part of something like this? Well, we, you know, if you notice all the commercials, all the campaigns are moving towards inclusion and diversity. Mm -hmm. We've been doing this since 2007. Yeah, you have. Yeah. And we've been knocking doors down and they're opening now. And it's films like this that give folks that we train an opportunity and when given an opportunity, shown what can happen. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's truly a beautiful storyline, and I hope that this film makes it into schools everywhere because I really think that it shows really the diverse background of everyone anywhere in any community, and it can teach us all a really strong lesson. Yeah. Um, how can people watch this? When is this going to be going uh, around? Well, it's going to be playing in Lodi. Yep. As a matter of fact, you talk about schools, the school system there, uh, the Lodi School District. Uh, they set up for students to come to mm -hmm. uh, the screenings, oh, and I'm going over there right now oh, nice. for the first three busloads of kids to, oh, that's awesome. to be there. And uh, Dr. Washer there has been unbelievable. The city of Lodi, the Chamber of Commerce, we did a big screening, yeah. and the whole town has gotten behind it. It premiered in district. Lodi this week. It premiered the other night. It were two sold-out performances. and. Wow. Uh, the Lodi 12 has been, they've been an unbelievable partner. Yeah. And uh, on March 3rd, we're going to open, uh, it'll be uh, video on demand and it'll be in all the, the stores. And then next year we'll be on TV. So. On TV next year. Well, it's yeah. amazing. Again, it's called Carol of the Bells. Seventy percent of the cast and crew living with developmental intellectual disabilities. And really, you guys, it is a heart string tugger, but I it guess. has a great message. And yeah. so when this starts to when this starts to make its rounds on uh, the television screens, we're going to have to remind people about it. Joey Travolta, thank you so thank much for you. what you do. It's thank always you. a pleasure, my friend. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. All right. My pleasure. By the way, yes, his brother is. Who you think he is? Yes. 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 He says Merry Christmas to everybody. Oh, oh he does. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Merry Christmas to your family as well.